Good afternoon. The father of a little boy severely injured in a drunk driving accident was brought to tears again today. A judge decided the man who hurt his son should remain free. News 13's Diana Salceda is live in the Newsplex with the story. Jessica, this is little Vicente Griego today. The boy was severely injured over the weekend in what police say was a drunk driving accident. And this is what the two year old looked like before the accident. Today, doctors have Vicente heavily sedated. They tried to take the breathing tube out, but it failed. He is improving, but there's no word if he will have permanent brain damage. Police say the man accused in that crash wasn't even old enough to be drinking. 20 year old Mariano Salas prayed today during his first appearance in Judge Christine Jaramillo's courtroom. He was released on a $55,000 bond over the weekend, and the judge continued that. Salas is accused of driving drunk early Saturday morning and rear ending a car on Coors near I 40. He crashed into a second vehicle and then drove southbound in the northbound lanes. When he was finally pulled over, police say he backed into a cruiser. Reportedly, his breath alcohol level was at least 0.16, twice the presumed level of intoxication. Vicente's father is shocked. Salas is not jailed. My son was smashed against the seats. He couldn't breathe. If I wouldn't have gotten him out in time, he would have died, they told me. You know, so it's, I don't know what else to say, but that man should be behind bars. Right now, Salas faces only great bodily harm by vehicle and leaving the scene of an accident. But that could change once the DA gets the case. Back to you, Jessica. Okay, Diana, Salas is now being evaluated, and the courts will make a decision on the details of his release. That could include an ankle monitor, alcohol and drug testing, and an ignition interlock or no driving at all.